But first, our reporter, Michelle Rivard, had the chance to visit the High Park Nature Center last week. So take a look. Hi, it's Michelle Rivard for Daytime Toronto. We're here in Toronto's gorgeous High Park, where as you can see, the cherry trees are in full blossom. Joining me from the High Park Nature Center is Katie Kreela. Katie, how are you? Good, how are you? Doing excellent, thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us today. No problem, it's a beautiful day. Gorgeous out. Can you tell me what is it that the High Park Nature Center does? Uh, the High Park Nature Center is an outdoor environmental education center. We're a non-for-profit and we try to teach people about the amazing nature in High Park. How long has the Nature Center been a part of High Park? Oh, it's been about 10 years now. Really? Yeah. So you are you work primarily with uh, the children that come? Yeah. Mostly with kids, but we have programs for families and adults as well. So what kind of programs uh, would would I be able to take part of with my family? Uh, well, on weekends we have family nature walks, uh, and there are always different themes. We actually have one tomorrow that's a fungus walk. Uh, so they're led by uh, experienced naturalists, and they're fun activities for the whole family. So obviously the cherry blossoms are in full bloom and it's quite early in the season. Uh, what's, what's the normal cycle for the cherry blossoms? Uh, well, the cherry blossoms can bloom anywhere, usually be, uh, between the late April to beginning of May. So this is definitely on the early, a bit early side. Last year they were, May 1st was the main bloom. And now we often hear cherry blossom, uh, the word used interchangeably with the word sakura. Do you know the difference between them? Uh, sakura is just the Japanese word for cherry blossom. Um, and there's many different varieties of sakura trees. The ones that are mostly here in High Park are called Yoshino sakura. And then there's also the term sakura hanami, which is the Japanese term for enjoying or watching the cherry blossoms. So if we look around, we're definitely seeing sakura hanami happening, happening right now? Right now, yes. <laughs> and um, now, are these trees um, native mm -hmm. to uh, Toronto? Uh, no, these trees, uh, and there's about 2,000 of them, were donated to the citizens of Toronto by the uh, Japanese ambassador in 1959. And it was in appreciation of Toronto uh, relocating uh, many Japanese Canadians after World War II. So really there's uh, a lot of historical meaning behind having the trees here in High Park. Definitely, definitely. Do you think that um, there's a lot of, like I've noticed that it seems to be like a lot of Japanese people coming to enjoy in the Sakura Hanami. Is it something that all cultures could enjoy? Of course, yeah. It, it definitely comes from Japan, and in Japan it's a very ancient tradition, about 700 years old, of yearly going out to appreciate the cherry blossoms. But, I mean, since then it's spread all over the world, and there's cherry blossom festivals all over the world, and there's no reason that everyone can't enjoy it. So, you, what, was, what was the name of the trees you said we're looking at here? They are, the variety is called Yoshino Sakura. And, uh, but there's different varieties within the park, but the ones here are that variety. And these ones are predominantly white. Are there also, I've seen lots of pink. Do you have pink here in the park? They can be white to light pinkish, yeah. Um, and it just depends on the variety and the individual trees as well. But most of them are white here. So if I was looking to come to High Park to take part in enjoying the trees, when should I come? Uh, you should be here right now. <laughs> uh, no, they do, uh, they've been in bloom for a few days, and this is about peak bloom, and the peak bloom usually lasts about a week. So there's oh, a, so there's, this weekend could be good. Uh, hopefully we won't get too much rain, because wet rain and high winds can also kind of, um, push the blossoms off the trees. But this weekend should still be good. So what do the trees look like year round? You're saying the blossoms are really only here for about a month. Are they just bare trees or do they have, what do they look like? Uh, no, so uh, cherry trees are, are different from other trees in that they get their uh, flowers first, but they will get uh, leaves after that. And then um, cherries as well. Uh, not so edible for humans, but very edible for a lot of the birds in the park, uh, robins and uh, cardinals and uh, waxwings love to eat them. So now we're in the park, obviously the High Park is enormous. Where is the best spot to view the trees? Um, this area is really great where we are. So we are just um, east of Grenadier Pond. Um, but there are other areas uh, by the zoo where you can see them and a little more north as well. Um, but this is a great area and then you're also very close to the pond, which is beautiful as well. 
Are there any events coming up at High Park um, coming up maybe this summer, in May, you want to let us know about? Uh, well, the High Park Nature Center, like I said, we have uh, events for families throughout the summer, usually on a weekly or bi-weekly basis. We have nature walks, um, and uh, we, then it, we have special events, so you can always check our website to find out about those as well. Yeah, how do we get in touch with the High Park Nature Center? Um, it's just highparknaturecenter.com. Great. Awesome. Katie, thank you so much for your time. Thank I'm going to take a quick second and just chat with some of the guests that are joining us here in High Park. Hello, ladies. Hi. How are you? Hi. Good. Where are you joining us from today? <laughs> Where do you live? Uh, I live near Victoria Park. And uh, I'm at the Harbor Front area. Harbor Front area. Where are you originally from? Originally from Japan. Japan. You're all from Japan. So today you're taking part in Sakura Hanami. Did I say that right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, what does it mean to you to be able to come to High Park to take part in something that's so traditional in Japan? Do you do this in Japan? Yeah, of course yeah. we do. So, how does it feel to come to Toronto and do it? Um, I don't know. I feel like you know, like a nostalgic to be under the sakura tree. So, like you know, feels like um. Uh, I just want to have fun in spring with the sakura. Yeah, that's just, you know, it's like a normal things, traditional things for us to do. So, you know, I, I'm going to just do it even we are in Toronto. Yeah. yeah. That's great. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for taking the time to chat with me. And now we rejoin the studio.